Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a stage 1 remap on a Mercedes Sprinter 2009 2.1 diesel. Open ECM Titanium. And browse for the original EEPROM. This is the original file. Open the original file. Select no and let us search for the driver and the ECU as you can see here these are all the drivers it's going through to look for the correct one Okay, so as you can see, no drivers match the selected file. So what you need to do is go onto the manufacturer and select Mercedes. And it's a Mercedes Sprinter. And start the search again. And this gives you all the manual searches for the Mercedes Sprinter. And because we know what ECU this is from when we took out the file, you need to go down and find the correct ECU for it. This one, EDC 16 CP31. So I'll open that and save the file to the database. And now you've got all the maps available for this car and this ECU. So injection, we're going to open up the injection map and increase it by 6% for stage one. six percent on this one so select it from 20 load and 1000 rpms make sure the percentage is on 0.5 press the percentage button and press page up to increase these values we're going to leave one gap on the rows and the columns just like this so you've got this row empty and this column empty and we're going to press page up again and increase these values so up to if I select it up to here the values before that have had a gradual increase from 0.5% each time as you can see the data set that is read currently at the moment that has been increased from 0.5 on this and 1% altogether in this so we're going to keep doing that and increase this by 0.5 that makes the data set all together at the moment 0.5 increase from here to 1% to 1.5% and we're going to select the next data set and increase that by 0.5% that makes it 2% increase the next one by 0.5 to get 2.5% increase this one by, by 0.5 to get 3% We're going to keep going by increasing it by 0 0.5 each time until we get to 6%. That's 4.5. That's 5% 5 altogether. 5.5. So this selected section has had a 6% increase because we've been reducing the data set each time. This section from here, so this row and this column, that's 5.5% uh, increase and so on. So we can close this one and move on to the next map and do the same thing here so the number nearest to 20 and 1000 rpm increase it by 0 0.5 percent increase 
increase that by 0.5 Keep going until you get to 6% altogether. It's 2% increase altogether. 2.5. 3. Make sure you don't touch the 0 0.5. They were going to keep that the same to make sure that this percentage is a gradual increase by 0 0.5 only. And we'll end this one there and move on to the next map. Next one is rail pressure. So if we go back and look at rail pressure is 3% increase. So we go into rail pressure, select it from 1000 to 20 load and increase that by 0 0.5. leave two rows and two columns and increase that by 0.5 keep following this process that gets us, this one gets us to 2% altogether 2.5% and the last bit section is 3% altogether so we start from here and get go from 0.5 You can now close this and make sure to save it. Click on the next one, press enter to go on. Select the data set we're going to increase and increase by 0 0.5 each time. That's 3% increased on this, don't modify the similar maps and press OK. Another injection map, press enter to go on and injection is like I've showed you before, 6%. So increase that by 0.5 and keep following through with the 0.5 increase each time And we can close this and move on to the fuel. Press enter to go onto the map. Fuel increase is by 3%, 0 to 3%. We'll do it by 3 and do the same procedure we've been following before. So 900 is closest to 1000 on the RPM and 22 is closest to the 20 on the load. So we'll select this data set and increase by 0 0.5 by pressing page, page up and leave one row and one column each time to increase it by 0 0.5 and that's 3% up to this last section completed and we can move on to the next one. We don't need to touch the lambda sensor, so we'll leave that one as it is. And we'll go on to the turbo pressure next. 
turbo pressure, you increase it by 6%. <coughs> So we're going to do the same thing here as well. Select the data set. Make sure it's on 0 0.5. Press page up to increase the value by 0 0.5%. We'll keep following the same step and selecting a new section of the data set. So we get to 6% increase on all of the values. Close that as well and move on to the next one. Same thing over here as well. Select from 19 to 1000 worth, increase it by 0 0.5. Keep going through this so that we can get a gradual increase. This map done. And we'll close that and move on to the next one. And continue increasing all of these by 0.5 each time. 1.5. 2.5. Two point five, three, three point five, four percent altogether, four point five, five, five point five, and six up to the end. Close that, and now we've got the torque limiters. The torque limiter is 35%. The torque limiter is 35%. As you can see we've got pressure limiter and rail pressure limiter as well. So the rail pressure is 3% increase. So let's do the rail pressure quickly. Increase it by 0 0.5 each time. That's 1%. That 
that makes it two percent in this one. Two point five, and let's just say this last bit for a three percent increase, and we close this. And the pressure limiter. Pressure limiter will increase by six. So I'll select the data set and page up to increase the values. this one start this one again now we'll do the pressure limiter pressure limiter is six percent now we'll increase the percentage to one percent and press the percent button and select the data set that we're going to increase it from now press page up to increase the values by one percent this time previously we've done 0 0.5 but for this one we're going to do it by one And we keep selecting the data set in the same pattern. That's three percent increase, four percent, five percent, and the last one six percent. The gradual change is to make sure that we don't have any jumps in the data, as this should just be clean and smooth. Now we can close this. This one is ready. And now the torque limiters. Torque limiter for stage one, you increase it by 35%. So we'll take the percentage and increase it to 35. Make sure to press the percentage button and then select all of the data and press page up to increase it by 35%. You can close this and make sure to press save. That's basically it. We'll do the same thing over here, select everything and press page up to increase it by 35%. Close this map and we are finished with this remap of stage one. You can press save, you can save onto the database if you need to. And press save again and press cancel this time and export the file find the designated area for this file and rename it as you need to Close ECM, go into the main folder and you have the remote file ready to go. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new videos when I upload them. I'll be uploading more remap videos and how to take out the file from a car from OBD and also the ECU method as well.